What's going on guys? It's Adonis and this is my first vlog here in Australia, which is pretty dope. Today we are headed to go watch Star Wars Rogue One. I'm so hyped. This is ah, such a good day to do my first vlog. What's going on guys? So we're headed to get the hair cut, get cleaned up, going to Culture Kings here at Pack Fair. Oh man, it's a nice day outside. Alright guys, so just got cut. Culture Kings represent, good looking. Yeah, so we're about to go meet up with my boy, get some food. Then we're off to see Star Wars, get our reaction, first impression of the movie, non-spoiler review. So Let's get into it. Alright guys, so my predictions for this movie. Um, I wanted to tie in as best as possible to episode 4 as it possibly can without it relying on episode 4 to kind of drive the story. Um, I really, really want to see a lot of Donnie Yen. Also, I want to make sure that um, we leave at least with like an 8.5. 8.5 out of 10, I think that would be sick. Um, I don't need it to be ridiculous. I just need to enjoy it. I know I'm already going to miss the crawl at the beginning since it's not there. But hopefully, it doesn't ruin the beginning for me. Because usually that's like the most exciting part is that crawl gets you hype. So, that's what my predictions are. Hope that a lot of those things come to fruition. If not, I hope that I'm satisfied with the movie. Because... We need these anthology movies to be good because they're coming out so frequent. So let's go inside, let's watch this movie, and we'll be back for the review. Peace. Okay, guys. I just got out of Rogue One. What the actual fuck? So I'm, I'm at a loss of words right now. I can't believe that the movie was, one, that good. Two... The, the war film that we were promised is exactly what it felt like. Like, it felt exactly like a war film. Um, and I don't want to give any spoilers away to you guys. Um, but the ending was so fucking good. Like, it was so good. You're, it shouldn't be that good, but it was that fucking good. Um, some of the technology they used in this movie to pull off some of the stuff that they did is incredible. Some of the motion capture stuff, I don't want to give much away, but some of the motion capture stuff was just mind-blowing. On top of the fact that we had some ridiculous scenes for like battles, uh, Gareth Edwards has, he has the ability to, to show scale really well, and we saw that uh, on the beach uh, battle. So sick. The Death Star in this movie is just ridiculous. I just, I don't know where to start. Like, it was that good. Um, performances were great. It was definitely a darker movie. Like it didn't feel like the, it didn't feel like a Star Wars movie in the sense of like that, that lightheartedness. Like there, there was some really, really dire times in this film, um, and it felt like more of an adult movie. Like it didn't seem like a, you know, a family event. Like it definitely felt like it was, it needed to be what it was to kind of tell the story in the next episode, which is episode four. The way it ties into four, though, is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe how much it ties into it. And throughout the movie, it wasn't just at the end, like, throughout the movie, you had different Easter eggs in the movie that kind of led up to it. And it was just, it was crazy. It was crazy, that's all I can say. Like, I don't know what else to say, but it was, it was unreal. It was such a dope movie. Um, Best, I don't know, I, don't, I can't pick a best part right now. I gotta see it probably a couple more times. Standouts for sure. Um, Jen Erso was such a dope character. that it was. She was so well fleshed out. Um, when you kind of get through her story, you start to feel a lot more as, you know, what she's going through and her family ties and stuff like that. She was definitely the most fleshed out in the movie. Some of the supporting, her supporting team, 
not so much, um, but enough to get the point across. Like, it, it didn't really detract from the movie at all. I didn't really, I didn't, um, I didn't feel like they weren't developed enough for what they were trying to accomplish, but um, definitely she had more development out of any character for sure. Um, oh man, Donnie Yen, sick. His character was so dope in this movie. And forgive me, I'm just now giving you like my thoughts right, right after I watched the movie for the first time. The guys that I'm with, my friends that I'm with, I just told them like, let me record this really quick because I, I need you guys to get my initial reaction to this film. Um, so this is what my initial reaction is. I'm just, huh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Um, so forgive me if I don't remember everybody's names and things like that at the moment, but I was asking for at least an eight, 8.5 before the movie. Um, this, is, this is like a, a, a solid nine and a half a solid nine and a half like it's it's that good um, and there's tons of stuff in there I definitely have to watch this maybe four four or five more times because there were so many Easter eggs in this movie that led to other things in other movies um, I just thought he handled it really really well but if you guys got to see the movie what did you guys think about Rogue One I would really like to know in the comment section down below if you guys like this review hit that thumbs up button show your boy some love and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you're going to want to do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out my last video, link will be right here to the side. All right, guys. Until next time.